Well, well done. We've uh, a little bit different. We've uh, had a bit of a trip to France, at a lake in France, just south of Reims, on the east side of France. And we got down the lake about midday yesterday, and uh, got all set up, had a dinner, got them out, and it's about it's just gone seven o'clock in the morning. It's uh, been raining most of the night. It's perfect cold weather. I've been listening to them since about I've been up since about four, listening to them crashing out out there. So I'll just give you a little look out there if you can see. Hopefully, look at that beautiful lake, isn't it? Beautiful lake. The woods are out. Fishing bow string lines. Fishing absolutely tight, locked up out there. So I'm fishing about three or four foot from the e edge of the bank, underneath a load of trees on the far bank out there. It's pretty clear out there. There's the odd snag. So I'm fishing either sides of the snag, so I've got a chance of landing them. What I did is, because um, I don't know who was in this swim or how much bait was out there from last week when the guys were down. I've just put some chopped boilies out there, a couple of handfuls over each spot, a bit of particle hemp, maize, you know, and some pellet. I'm just looking to get a bite, really. I just want to get a bite, uh, and, you know, rather than fill it in, I'm sort of easing my way into the session to see if the fish are feeding, how much bait's out there, you know, the fish are in the area. Rather than stick out a load of bait, I thought I'd just uh, try and get a bite first of all. See what's happening, you know, there's no point putting loads of bait out there if the fish aren't feeding or there's loads of bait out there already from the week before. So I'm just sort of easing myself into the session. And probably a couple of hours, I'm going to go to breakfast, have a rethink if I don't get a bite. Still a good chance of a bite. It's just sunrise, you know, and I've, I've been hearing them crashing out there, in the area out there, so they're about. So uh, I'll just, yeah, have a look at my uh, my bivy, so to speak, for the week. We it for seven nights, did last night. Just have a look at this. this. Now this is a bit of luxury. Look at this. Look at that, look. Look at that. Don't get that very often, do you? Look at that. Madness. Absolute madness. I don't, uh... <laughs> I haven't had many sessions where I'm fishing out of a, out of a shed, that's for certain. But it's, uh, it's a bit of luxury, you know. Bit of, um, be nice for the week to sit in there, just got my bed chair in there and all my bits and pieces really organised. It's just, it's actually quite nice not to be in a bivy. But, um, so I'm going to, uh, get back me fishing, keep watching, go and have some breakfast. And uh, hopefully I'll have one to show you. But um, it's a little bit slow at the moment, but they're out there. So I'm just easing into the session. And we'll see how it goes. And stick with me for the week, so I'll report back and show you a little bit of what I'm doing and tactics and why I'm doing certain things. And um, I'll see you soon. Right, welcome back. Now, a bit of a change of scenery. I'm, I've had a bit of a move this morning. Had a bit of a nightmare last couple of nights. We're on our third night. And it just looks really dead in the swim I'm in. Looked really nice and all that when I got there. Guys to my left have caught a few. And right down the far end to the right they've caught, they've caught a few. Joe's caught a few. So but it just, I just weren't feeling it. So I lost a fish. Which might have been a fish but might have been a pike. Because the following morning at the same time. Exactly the same thing happened and I caught a pike. So I reckon it was where all the fries around the pellet and, and the emp and maize and all that and I walked a bike playing that for about 10 minutes so I wasn't best pleased with that. So I reeled in off there, had my breakfast and had to walk up here. Have a look up here. And there was no one up here at all. No one up here at all, look. Big bit of open water. I was just walking up here, rolling up a fag and one showed out by that post out there. If I don't know if you can see it. Let me see that post. Out there, there's a post out there. So and then I see another one, a little bit further down. And the guy, Dangerous Brian, he's had a 43 common right down that arm. So I went and packed my gear up. I packed it all up. Drove the van down here and Russ was sitting up on the right hand side of this double swim. So I've got Russ in there. He's he's gone in the right hand side and we and we what we've done is we've we put a bait either side of that pole, one on the left, one on the right. It's about four foot deep there. 
and he's gone out, he's found a couple of spots out to the right and I'm fishing, I'll tell you where else I'm fishing, I'll show you, look, out there, I think you see that out there, out about, about there, I suppose, out about there, little gap, little gap in the, uh, little gap in the tree line there, I've got a bait in there, and I've got another bait, out about, out about there, I reckon, Another little gap between two snags. So I've put a couple of rods out there, another rod out to that pole out there. And what we've done is we've gone either side, like I said, and Russ, busy he fishes linear and that, he just wants to spot the granny out of it. But I said to him, look, it's only about three foot four foot deep and the fish are here. So what we do is we get the boat out there, a little remote control boat. Love them or hate them, this is our ideal situation while they come into their own. So we put about five kilo of mixed maize, yeah, I'll show you, mixed maize. Put about five kilo of maize, hemp in there, a bit of barley, quite a bit of chopped boiling as well, chopped it up with the old crusher, and a bit of pellet. So we've laid the traps out there as well. So I feel a lot more confident in here, it just feels a lot, so after seeing fish and dangerous brine up the other end catching one, it's um, it, it just looks spot on then, the weather's come out, it's meant to rain today but it's come out sunny. So this being shallow, there's a little bay around the left as well, they're getting there apparently. So I reckon uh, hopefully the uh, run of three nights blanking might come to an end for the two of us because he hasn't caught either. So we're going to try and uh, try and put one on the bank, if I catch one I'll be happy. I've got four more nights left, so we're going to see how it goes. Let's give you one last look before I go. One last look out there of the area. Look at this up there, look. Stunning up there. Lovely lake. Snags and bars and plateaus and you know loads of loads of 40 pounders and 50 50s in here. You know, we just um, find it'll be difficult to catch one at the moment. But I'm sure we will do. Had a move, feel more confident, and uh, let's see what happens.